please now join me in welcoming the 2014 NMUN Secretary General, Thera Watson. Honorable Being Secretary General this year not only provided me with a profound learning experience, but a precious opportunity to reflect on my own conference experience. I remember writing my first position paper, thinking it was the greatest, only to have to rewrite it several times before it was finally submitted. I remember practicing speeches and committee simulations at my own university, and all the hard work and time it took just to ensure that I was fully prepared. I can recall how overwhelmed I felt walking into my first opening ceremony and subsequent ones after that, and meeting my director and assistant director for the first time. There are numerous experiences that I could share, but one of the most important is something that goes well beyond all of those things, and it is the spirit of inclusion and at the core equality. The reason this resonates so soundly within me is because here in this room and for this week, this is one of the few places where you can physically see equality at work. We are all a part of something better and bigger than our own individual hopes and dreams. Equality is not just a theory, and it is certainly more than a random idea. It is the vital piece of the puzzle if one wants to create a political, social, and economic environment that fosters inclusion and thrives on the ability to provide access to opportunity without discrimination. Equality provides a mechanism for us to view the world that is developing around us and remediate imbalance. Therefore, the lack of equality is simply not an issue that can be relegated to a minority group or a certain portion of the global population. It is an issue that we all must confront and resolve. It can be said that equality is the thread that binds human rights and dignity together. Equal does not mean that we're all the same. We are all in some way different, coming from culturally diverse backgrounds. Most of us were not even born on the same continent as our neighbors sitting a few rows away. Though on the surface we're different, we have common goals, dreams, and other qualities that make us all the same, human. Therefore, these cultural differences should not separate us from one another, but rather bring us together for the benefit of humanity. Each of us, no matter what our difference, should be included and treated with respect. Equality is essential for advancing human rights, building stronger economies, and ensuring sustainable peace. For the majority of complex issues highlighted here at our conference, addressing inequalities will be central to the conversation. For this cause, equality for a better world is a theme that exemplifies a message that I am proud to champion. This week, as you participate in various committees, I hope you will remember that the presence of inequality anywhere threatens the security and stability of lasting equality everywhere. Likewise, as you engage in discussion and work of your own respective committees, think about how you can use the things that we share in common to address some of the world's most challenging problems. How can we use the standard for equality for a better world to address issues concerning economic, social, and gender inequality, the environment and resource allocation, and providing access to technology, education, and healthcare? How can we take what we learned throughout this week to initiate positive change, not only at this conference, but in the years to come? Before I close, I'd like that you, to ask that you remain seated and listen to instructions before exiting this room. I now declare the National Model United Nations New York 2014 conference open. <laughs>